This is our basement. We created a beautiful Slytherin themed lounge here, but I always wanted to get one of those antique mirrors that you see in the Slytherin common room. You can see them to the left and the right of the fireplace, and they have this aged reflective surface that is clouded and has black spots. To create a similar mirror, I got a $30 mirror at a thrift store. This one, it has a very heavy frame and it's the right size. The supplies that I used were paint stripper, paint stripper afterwash, a metal putty knife. I also used a plastic one for testing. I used Clorox in a spray bottle and then in a disposable cup with a spoon to help. And I used acrylic paint, however, the adhesion was poor, so I recommend that you use spray paint for your project. Step one is to remove the mirror from the frame. Fortunately, my mirror had a removable cover in the back. Step two is to spread the paint stripper on the back of the mirror. This is a very important step. The factory paint on the back of your mirror is very tough. So you have to spread this, the paint stripper very, very evenly and don't miss any spot. Before scraping the paint off, you should try it first. It took about 30 minutes for my paint to get ready. The next step is to scrape the paint off. I used a metal putty knife and you have to be conscious that you may scrape the reflective paint surface uh, that right there on the glass so be careful with a metal knife or wait longer and try to use a plastic knife so next comes the afterwash i tested the afterwash on a small spot and it didn't remove the golden reflective surface after you remove the paint from the back of the mirror and it's ready for the next step your mirror should have this light golden color well it's time to destroy it now I used a 50% water and Clorox mix to spray on the back of the mirror. And after 30 minutes, it didn't really have that desired level of destruction. So I switched to 100% Clorox and poured it onto the mirror surface using a disposable cup and a spoon. It took about 30 minutes after that to get the desired effect. One thing to note is that the end result is going to look about 30% darker than what it looks like when you're working on it. That's because you're going to have black paint in the back of it and it's going to show up a lot more. Keep that in mind as you work on your project. Since the paint that you're painting on the back of the mirror is going to be seen from the front, you can use any sort of color, but because we're doing the Slytherin themed mirror, I used black. The acrylic paint that I used did not adhere well to the glass, so my recommendation for you is to use spray paint instead. I gave the mirror two coats of paint, dry it in overnight in between, and then once the mirror was dry, it was time to put the mirror back into the frame and hang it where it belonged. Take a look at the final result and enjoy the spooky ambience of the room. <laughs>